Every now and then you gotta ask yourself if video is worth it. Do I think this video is worth it? No. No, I do not, but... Jackshoe 636 here, and before we begin, I just want to let you know, um, your boy got a bowl cut. Don't be afraid, it's still me. Walk with me, talk with me. This channel has to go in a completely new direction if you want to stay focused. I'm 20 years old now, I had an idea, and that idea was a super mega video. So come with me and you're gonna that I can still be trendy and relevant while also providing that lovely Jax3636 charm you've grown to love so much. I did a poll on my channel. I wanted to know what kind of videos you guys want to see more from me, and believe it or not, album reviews was the uh, thing that everyone wanted. And you know what artist is currently giving me exposure? That's right, Jack Stauber. We're on our way to a thrift store. Because um, I like weird uh, things, secondhand goods. On the way there, we're gonna talk about his discography. So, whenever my level 80 Supreme Bowl cut is within view, of a guide to Jack Starber. First album that Jack Starber's ever made, Finite Form. He made it when he was 15 years old. It's a short album, clocking in at roughly 28 minutes, with only 8 tracks. This album contains a synth pop sound that Jack Stauber has made part of his trademark. But instead of the usual silly and joyful, let's cross the street. I don't want you to I don't want YouTube picking up that child's laughter and thinking that this is a um troubling video. Did you know you have to manually let YouTube know if there's a child that appears in your video? <laughs> I didn't. Here's the uh, image of that. What the fuck, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't make money off of these. <laughs> anyway, instead of part of the usual joyful and silly tone that you make to your songs, here we have a more melancholy, personable, and sincere sense of purpose with the music. In fact, I'd say some of Stauber's most personal lyrical moments so far are found on this album which is the last thing I was expecting, knowing that this was technically the first album that he ever put out. I have to keep walking backwards, don't I? Don't get me wrong though, this isn't, this album isn't a slow, fearful drab all the way throughout. There are still songs you can dance to. I like the song Smooth and Curl. I made a video on Smooth. Above, arms out on the freezing sun. Songwriting and lyrics getting eight out of 10, which will add one and a half points to the overall score. Production gets a six out of 10, because it's not super great, but it's okay, which adds one point to the overall score. Tracks individually get seven points, which is 1.5 overall score. Tracks as a whole, seven points. 1.5 overall score, uniqueness, uniqueness, and eight. One and a half points. Final score, seven out of 10. Welcome back to the thrift store vlog. Fuck. So, we're on our way to a bargain land. We're on our way to bargain land! It's a second-hand thrift store. Uh, I haven't been there in a long time. It's a local place. We're gonna fucking cross now. Bargain land. Right across the street, strangely enough, this place is a Goodwill, uh, which makes me think that they're gonna go out of business. We're on the back alley in Arnegi, Pennsylvania. We're gonna get shot for looking like asshole. I hope so. That'd be a lot of views. You know what? What are people asking for me? I wonder. What do I want to give to the people? I wonder. Is this all even worth it? All these people look at me like an idiot because they don't even... Do you think YouTubers exist in this area? Video? Yeah, they do. But in Pittsburgh. This ain't Pittsburgh. This is Carnegie. I have Pittsburgh City paper on my, on my glasses. I'm not... This isn't... I'm not even in Pittsburgh. I don't read the newspaper. 
This was a pair of free glasses I got at a art festival. So the second track, second album, Jack Stalper's discography is by it. It's over an hour, hour long, has 35 songs on it. It's made of ambient folk. Certainly an oddity in the discography. Not my kind of music, maybe it's yours. It's very experimental, very odd. It's up to you if you would like it. He calls back a lot to it later on in other albums. Um, it, it's it's cool, it's very artsy. Songwriting and lyrics get a 7, 1.5 overall score. Production gets a 5, which gets 1 to the overall score. Tracks individually, 3 points. I'd never really listen to these on their own unless I was listening to the album. It gets half a point to the overall score. Tracks as a whole, a 6 because it's certainly meant to be listened to all in one go. Uh, one point to the overall score. Uniqueness, five. You can hear a lot of weird shit like this online. One to the overall score. Final score is five out of ten. Uh, cool. Now we can stop recording. In here we have the stowed away oh, artifacts of the old times. Here we have. You don't sip from this part of the cup because that could cut you, but you can sip from this part. It's a training cup. And here we have a shot glass that once belonged to a Jennifer. I hope she finds it shortly. This is terrifying. Dude, bite delicious cake pops. For any occasion, look at the fucking skeleton hand holding the fucking skeleton pops. Fuck! Oh. We died. We both died. Both of us would be dead. Ooh. Who needs a diploma when you can just get one of the fucking hats and pose for a picture? Yeah, I graduated high school. Decided I'm looking for more clowns. Where are the clowns? I want more things like this guy. Find my mixtape somewhere buried in here. Come to this exact address. Hope you can find it. This whole thing! Yeah, that's rancid. Yeah, these look dirty. These look scuffed as fuck. This is where you find genuinely scuffed shit. Alright. Yikes, dude. I don't like that one. Bahamas Lucky Cat. It's cultural appropriation. <gasps> Oh, fuck! Okay, so we got some good ones here. We got a police one, um, A cab, no thank you. This one says, I heart you, don't know why. I kinda like this one. Niagara Falls, Canada. You see, I liked it until they gave it a location. That gives it too much of a background. I want it to be mysterious, you know? None of those clowns fit up to my standards. Take a state travel in a different strain of dabble in and up with all the babble in today's today's saddle in tour in the globe while I'm warm with my woes steady scoring with the hoes that be forming on my toes all the shit that comes my way it never hurts me I'm rocking every stage from Ogle Bay to Albuquerque cross the burning desert earning feathers with the natives take peyote with the homies Look at that thing. That's 
her a presidential kind of wine or done right. She doesn't like it. It's like that meme. You know that meme where the kid's play, playing his trumpet? Is that the Annabelle doll? Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do with all these clones? Buttercup on it. And that's the one that all you fuckers like, isn't it? Anyway, it's definitely his most accessible record. He has a lot of hits on there. We got Oklahoma. My Blue is great. Dog Nightmare is great, of course. Uh, it, it really is good. We got for seven. Add 1.5 to the overall score. Production gets an 8 and 1.5 to overall score. Tracks individually 8. Like I listed off, those tracks are all great on their own, as well as listening to the album as a whole. 1.5 to the overall score. Tracks as a whole, 6. I don't really think that it's that great. Uh, 1 point to the overall score. I don't really think that really kind of fits narratively in any kind of way. It kind of does feel like a mixtape, just songs. Uniqueness 8, 1.5 overall score. You know why? It's because Jack Stauber is very unique. Final score is a 7 out of 10. Sorry that these are not as in-depth. You know, it's, it's either quality or quantity. Let's see how the quantity approach works. Just be glad I'm not uploading these as separate videos or else then I be being a jackass. The last album is High Low, which uh, I honestly is my favorite one out of the whole discography of Jack Stauber. He uh, really broke the mold with this one. This was my favorite album of the year it came out, which was last year, 2018. A lot darker in tone, but I think that that really does make it a better album as a whole because it all has a unifying feel. Each track is like a little miniature experiment. Um, you never know what's gonna happen next on it. The song Leopard is like legendary to me. Beard sounds amazing. Punk is awesome. There's so, all the tracks on there are great. And it really does feel like one big um, episode with um, the closer being Pizza Boy. I think that was a great, great closer of an album. A lot of thought went into the track list. Songwriting and lyrics gets an 8, 1.5 to overall score. Production gets a 9. Uh, this is easily his most highest production album yet. Uh, gets the two points to the overall score. Tracks individually nine. Like I said, I think almost every single track on here can really be listened to on its own and still be enjoyed. Uh, two points to the overall score. Tracks as a whole gets an eight. 1.5 to the overall score. Uniqueness gets a nine. I have never heard an album like this album before, and I hope he continues making music like this. Two points to the overall score. Final score now that album of the year. At me. This is why Jack Stauber is so much on my channel is because I feel like his music is some of the best of the best right now. So, uh, take that what you will. I think Hilo is better than Pop Food. I don't even think it's a contest. It all comes down to personal preference. I also think the finite form's underrated. That's the end of that. I'm realizing I don't have a lot of space in my room for all these clowns. What we're gonna have to do is, uh, you know what's trendy right now? Tier lists, right? So let me get tier list of these clowns, and whichever one is the highest ranking gets to stay. I feel like I'm talking away from the camera a lot, which uh, is not that engaging for video. Fuck. Go bite you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hold on one second. You're so beautiful. Go inside. Can you do the intro? Are you okay?
recording? Yeah. Okay, well, we got the clowns, we're gonna put them on the table. All right, so this is the official clown ranking list. This one's pretty C tier. The dog does not really add, the fucking lawnmower doesn't add a lot to this video. This creature that this clown is with does not really add a lot to his overall um, use, so I'm gonna put him at C. Right here is C. Uh, this right here, he is uh, definitely A tier at least. I'd put him at, at, at C, at S tier, but he doesn't play basketball, like I said. He's not honing in on his, uh, he's not reaching his potential. This one here, uh, is God, he's S tier. No, um, arguments on that. No arguments here. This one's pretty shit, if I'm being honest. This one's pretty shitty. I don't like that his shoes are chipping. He, he's shiny, I don't like that. He is F tier. Fuck that guy. Now I'm gonna kink shame this guy right now because um, that face is not someone that just plays. That's the face of someone fiendishly at work here. He's B tier. This one's homeless, so uh, he gets a little bit of pity points. So he gets D tier. But he's still not that great because he's homeless and he's not giving ba anything back to the world's economy. We gotta really uh, address <laughs> that word, you know? You guys ready to do some science? Right here I got the Discovery Extreme Chemistry Lab. Over 20 different experiments today. It says it right there on the bottom. We can start, we gotta make sure we're prepared. This is an educational video. In a way, we got... Oh, this is a very unexpected reaction. 